Hello to you, friend. Here we are on a Friday, Friday, Friday. Glad to have you apart. Here's my prayer that I have said something this week or even before that has encouraged you, blessed you, lift you up. I love to hear from you sometimes, all right? Uh, that, that ponder this is blessing you, that you're enjoying it, okay? And uh, you want it to go on. I, I do it for one reason, one reason only, and that is to be a blessing to the body of Christ. That's you, that's you, okay? So uh, thank you. Let me invite you into our services Sunday morning at 10 a.m. Always, always a great time in God's spirit. Manifestation of his power and his presence is every single service. And, and we, we, we invite you to come. Amen. Let me tell you what happens. We open up with worship, 15, 20, 30 minutes of worship. All right. Then the word of God is preached. We go right into that book. Altar calls are given. Yeah, we still give altar calls. We still have altars. You see, all oh, that's so outdated and out of style. You know what? That's what people say about the word of God too, but it still hasn't changed. Not one bit of it. Word's word. I still believe in going to an altar. I still believe in weeping. I still believe in confessing your sins. I still believe that the word of God is the only way you're going to learn and the only way you're going to get ready for when Jesus Christ comes. And I do believe in the rapture of the church. And I do believe in the second coming. And I also believe that it's getting closer and closer every single day. Hell is breaking out in every direction. Men are turning against men. Life holds no respect or no value to many of the people that walk the streets of our great nation and even the world. They can say one thing out of one side of the mouth and another thing out of the other side of the mouth, but words don't amount to a hill of beans if you're not walking the walk and talking the talk according to the word of God. All right, there, I said it, I believe it, amen. We're gonna preach God's book, live God's book, and anybody that doesn't like it, you know what, they find places that don't even want it. So I invite you to come and be a part of Messenger Church, 10 o'clock. 10.30 is live stream, okay? So we love to have you to tune in, tune in with us if you don't live in the area. If you live in this area, we invite you to messenger, messenger church if you don't have a home church. If you have a home church, get up off that couch, get yourself ready, and go to Father's house, all right? Sitting at home, watching it online. I don't care if it is a live stream that I never, ever, Take the place of assembling together with saints of like precious faith and sitting under the holy counsel of God's word where the presence and the power of God is moving. You will never convince me of anything different than that. I've done them both. There's nothing like being where the power of God is moving. And I'll guarantee you, he can't move as strong there on your couch where you're sipping coffee or whatever you're sipping than he can move in his own house. That's what I believe. Woo! Oh, yes, I don't like that preacher. I didn't ask you to like it. Most people don't like truth when truth rubs them the wrong way, but truth is what gives you freedom. I'm going to, I'm going to share a little bit that I should have shared at the end of yesterday's broadcast. We who desire to see a return of our sons and daughters to God must resist the temptation to do or say anything that causes division within the body of Christ. The enemy always sees what is not right. A true child of God sees and magnifies what is right. I talked about unity yesterday, all right? And basically what this is saying is don't sit around complaining and griping about what another child of God is doing that you disagree with. Don't do that. That shows division and we do not want that going on in God's church. Okay, let me see. I got just a little bit more time. Let me give you this. Here's what A.W. Tozer said. I love him. I've read a lot of his books. You shall receive power is God's promise and God's provision. The rest waits on us. <laughs> Isn't that good? God bless you. Thank you for being a part of Ponder This. I will be right back here Monday, same time, same spot. Tune in with me. Tell others about us. 
God bless you. I love to see you on a Sunday morning. We are going to have a time in God's presence. Goodbye.